to have President Trump back in the great state of Texas. He was president. Anytime I called upon the president, he was there to step up and help our fellow Texans. And one of the things that he did better than anything else, and definitely better than any other president, is he stepped up and he secured our border and kept Texans and Americans safe. <laughs> changed so quickly and so dramatically under the Biden administration has been amazing and disastrous. For one, if you just look at the year-over-year -year numbers, look at this May versus last May. Uh, the increase of people coming across the border who've been apprehended has gone up more than 800 percent in just that May over May, and in, in April it was the exact same thing. Uh, we see something that needs to put in context, because you hear Vice President Harris uh, talk about uh, going down to the Northern Triangle as if uh, solving the problem in those three countries is going to solve the problem with regard to the border. She is misleading America because the fact of the matter is there are people coming into the United States across our border from more than 150 countries across the entire globe. If she solves the problem in those three countries, which we know she can't, it means there's still more than 147 other countries to go to solve problems there. They're missing the point. There's one place to solve all the problems on the border, and that is on the border. And that's exactly where the Biden administration needs to devote their resources to get the job done. The problems are dramatic. Let me give you just one example about what's happened after you left presidency that we've seen in Texas and across the nation. It's probably the most deadly aspect of what is happening, and that is the importation of the deadly drug of fentanyl. Just two milligrams of fentanyl is a deadly dose. And just this calendar year, the Texas Department of Public Safety has seen a 2,000% increase in the amount of fentanyl that they have apprehended. And that's not counting what Border Patrol has apprehended. Just the Texas Department of Public Safety alone has apprehended more fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in the entire state of Texas. This is deadly, it's dangerous, uh, and it's in infesting regions across Texas as well as regions across the United States. So here's what Texas has done that I'm going to bring you up to speed on uh, that we have had to do to respond to this crisis. We launched Operation Lone Star where we deployed a thousand uh, Texas Department of Public Safety officers as well as Texas National Guard, uh, and they have already arrested almost 1,800 people for criminal violations, uh, in addition to about 40,000 apprehensions of people who have come across the border illegally, and uh, they have busted 41 stash houses. In addition to that, things got so bad that county judges, the, the lead officials in the border region counties, for the first time ever, they asked me to declare disaster. You remember I declared disaster for Hurricane Harvey and some other things like that? Uh, this is the first time ever I'm aware of that a governor had to make a disaster declaration for the border situation, and yet that's exactly what we did. And then the state of Texas, with the help of uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick, uh, we passed in our state budget that I just signed more than a billion dollars of funding for Texas to have to step up and secure our border. And then after that, they added uh, an additional quarter of a billion dollars for Texas to begin building our own border wall to keep Texas safe. And then on top of that, we have a new program because we are seeing uh, people coming across the border who uh, have committed crimes before, and we want to arrest these people, and we, are, we through the Texas Department of Public Safety, are working collaboratively with the sheriffs to make sure we have uh, an arrest program. We're, we're not going to be involved in catch and release. If you're coming in the state of Texas, you will have Texas law enforcement arresting you and putting you behind bars. This isn't going to be the red carpet treatment that the Biden administration has rolled out. This is going to be time in jail that our law enforcement officials will help achieve. Two of the things I want to mention, one is that, that uh, Governor Ducey and I, uh, we triggered an interstate compact where other states can join in and assist us and help us to secure our border. And I know I don't have all the states, but I do want to mention the ones that I do have that are stepping up to help out by sending resources. It could be 
law enforcement officials, or it could be National Guard. We have Florida, Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa, Ohio, Arkansas, Georgia, and more. Uh, just know that the people of Texas, the people of America, uh, thank you for stepping up and providing your resources to help secure the border, knowing full well uh, that what comes across the border does not stay at the border. In fact, it goes to your states and other states across the entire country. Two of the things that I, I created a Border and Homeland Security Task Force that involves all of our local sheriffs who help provide advice and information about what needs to be done, as well as uh, property owner groups, uh, ranchers who have been uh, decimated by uh, what's happened on their land. And let me just close with that. We're doing all that we can for one reason, and that's because the way that the people along the border are having their lives turned upside down. I cannot tell you the number of stories that I've heard from people who have had guns put to their heads or guns brandished uh, at them uh, in their ranches, in their homes, in their neighborhoods. They're afraid to have their children go play in their yards. Uh, the, the ranchers uh, have their homes invaded, uh, their fences ripped up, uh, their livestock lost, uh, their game lost. Uh, it is a far more dangerous situation than it's ever been. The people of Texas have been pleading for us to be able to step up and help restore safety and security in their lives. And that is exactly why Texas is stepping up and doing a job that is truly the federal government's job, a job that you did, but a job that the Biden administration is completely failing us on. Now with that, there's gonna be three law enforcement officials who will provide you additional information, and then we will look forward to hearing your remarks. And it starts out with the director of the Texas Department of Public Safety, Steve McCall.